Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, October 27, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So let's get to it. We will look at uh, Netflix first. And as you can see, well, technically, most of the tech stock had a terrible day um, in Monday's session. Uh, Netflix rallied quite significantly in the beginning of the session above the uh, 100 moving average and then broke down quite significantly again. Um, this is the 100 moving average has been for a very long time a significant um, support for Netflix stocks. And even though we break further down below here, to then we open that opens the door to the 150 in moving average. That is not expected. I do expect something similar to this. We'll hang around the 50 moving average for some time, probably break up towards the 50 moving average, break down again, and then go to these highs of 570, um, 72. Um, of course, this has all to do with stimulus. It has all to do with coronavirus. But as you can see that most of these tech stocks did significantly well or even better uh, in the midst of the coronavirus when the, when, when the world economy basically shut down. So if the world economy will shut down again or parts of the world economy will shut down again, that will basically be a positive sign for, for Netflix because people uh, are staying at home they need to be entertained, and they basically buy a subscription for for uh, for Netflix and other um, streaming uh, um, services uh, when they're basically staying at home. So subscriber number four for Netflix went up significantly um, in uh, in the first quarter due to the coronavirus. So at this point, I do believe that we'll just stick around at the fifty uh, that uh, hundred moving average uh, for some time. Um, and then we will rally from here. If we look at the technical indicators, they are all looking much better, even though the MACD is way uh, underneath the signal line. We can see that the RSI is turning around, the CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, and we are at the bottom of the bullish band. So um, next target will most likely be in the bullish band here at the, the 520 uh, range, but of course, we need to break above the 50 moving average in order to go higher. This probably will take a few training days, probably a week or two. So if we look at Microsoft, Microsoft uh, broke down quite significantly on Monday's session, but we found support uh, at the 100 moving average at, the, at exactly $210 a share. If we break below here, that opens the door to these lows at the at the, um, at 199, and then we have the 50 moving at 150 moving average underneath there at the 197. Um, don't expect this market to go significantly lower than this. This should be as far as this market goes, um, or at least for the time being. We could see a break just below the, the 100 moving average and then pull back towards the 50 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is looking quite bearish. The same goes for the RSI, the same goes for the CCI and the stochastic. So we could go a little bit lower, but I don't believe that will break, uh, break uh, um, far below the 100 moving average. Um, a turnaround from here opens the door to these highs of 225 and then to 233. We see Apple was quite flat, but we did break down. We are trading below the 50 moving average. Um, this could be a sign of what I have been expecting, that Apple will trade towards the 100 moving average and then bounce. Um, I did expect it back here, but we that didn't happen. But it may happen now. So it may well be that we'll go down to $107 a share before we go higher. Uh, technical indicators for 
Apple are a little bit mixed. And there, um, you can see that the RSI is pointing to higher levels, while the MACD, the CCI, the Stochastic uh, are all pointing to lower levels. We are reaching the lower parts of the Bollinger Bands, and that should be a sign that we are about to turn around. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to 125 and then all the way to uh, 137. If you look at Amazon, we rallied quite significantly in the beginning of the trading session, broke down again at this point we are trading just below the 50 moving average. We are trading actually between the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average. 100 moving average should be significant uh, support and this may as also be as far as this market goes. We can see that uh, the stochastic is turning around, the RSI is looking bullish, the CCI is looking bullish, and that will mean also that the MACD will also turn around and head to higher levels. The lows should be the 100 moving average at 3,084, uh, and the highs here should be 3,500. If you look at Tesla, Tesla broke down and now is trading just underneath the 40 exponential moving average. That is uh, interesting. We are trading below the 50 moving average and the 40 exponential moving average. And this is a uh, scenario we haven't been in for quite some time. We have been trading uh, sideways in Tesla stock for quite some time. And... This is technical signs of weakness. I don't expect this market to break down or anything, but but it is significantly weaker than than in previous periods. This used to be a very parabolical stock, but it is well, it is showing signs of weakness actually. If you look at technical indicators, they are a little bit mixed. The RSI is bullish and the CCI is bullish, but the stochastic MACD uh, are quite bearish at this point. If we were to break down from here, then that opens the door to the 100 moving average at the $340. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to these previous highs of 463 and then, of course, to the highs of 500. But we are we just have to wait to see what happens here uh, because we are technically in mid-range. Facebook broke down quite significantly at this point 286 dollars a share should be significant resistant uh, break about that should open the door to 305 uh, but we are trading above the 50 moving average um, so that will act as support in the beginning at the 270 if that breaks that opens the door to the 100 moving average at the 255 and that is as far as this market most likely will go we are basically the technical indicators are showing signs of this market turning around so we'll most likely just see more of the same we have been uh, creating uh, higher lows here it's not a lot of movement but we can see that we bottomed here at the 100 moving average then made another higher low uh, just above that, and then a higher low just above that. So we'll probably go, if this is the case, then we'll go towards the uh, 40 exponential moving average and then go higher. Technical indicators are showing signs of weakness. MACD is turning around, RSI is turning around, CCI is turning around, and also is the stochastic and so on. So we could expect more movement to the downside, but not significantly more than this. Um, so if you look at Google, Google has absolutely turned around. Uh, we could expect the highs of 1639 to be, uh, be significant resistant, but we're trading about the 50 moving average at uh, 1542. Uh, so that is our first line of defense. And if that breaks, that opens the door to the 100 moving average. And if that breaks, that opens the door to the 150 and 200 moving average at 14. 144. Um, technical indicators are very bearish at this point. We are overbought. Uh, RSI, uh, now MACD is turning around, the CCI is turning around, the MACD is turning, the C stochastic is turning around, and we are at the top of the Bollinger Band. So expect lower levels, 
price levels for Apple and our Google stock. Uh, yeah, this should be the absolute hide before the election. And then at this point, we are just going to see lower levels. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.